Welcome back to another episode of Wi-Fi. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a quick way to find phi in a circle. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content, and let's get to it. It's been a while since I uh, posted a geometry video, so I figured I would post something really quick today. This is something I was just messing around with a while ago, and I decided I'd share it with you guys. First thing you want to do is draw a circle, and our goal from this point is to divide the circle into 10 parts. And this is easy since a circle has 360 degrees, we only need to scribe an arc of 36 degrees and do that 10 times. So now all we have to do is fill in this 10 sided geometry, a decagon, like so, just basically connecting all the bisecting lines. And now if we draw in a 10 sided star like this, we have succeeded in generating phi and little phi quite simply. So when you filter down this concept, you come up with this very basic triangular form of an isosceles triangle whose length of one side is 1, and the base is little phi, 0 0.618, etc, etc. That's pretty amazing. You can almost consider this an archetype of geometry and physical form. And what's really astounding about this is that it is completely related to the magnetic field, which I'll be talking about in a later video. But for now, I just wanted to show you the relationship that this triangle has to phi, and really simple geometry, which is going to lead us into the geometry of magnetism, which is um, extremely important. As always, leave a comment down in the comment section below, let me know what you think. And uh, there should be a link to my Discord if you wish to join me on my Discord, where we talk about all kinds of crazy things, open-minded stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.